Okay, so it's time to do the sketch for our Hello Arduino. Um, so you'll need to open up your uh, IDE, your Arduino tab. And here, uh, here's our, our sketch titled November 14th B. I've done another one today. Um, so I'm going to include some comments here with mine um, because this is going to help you with the performance task of trying to figure out how to get two LEDs on this program somehow. All right, well, I said yesterday there's three things we need to do. We need to define, uh, rename our pins. Numbers don't work. We need to give it a name because it's going to cause number trouble in our program somewhere. Uh, the second thing we need to do is set up our pins. After we've defined and named our pins, what is it that we want them to do? And the third thing we need to do is a, 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 a loop, a loop routine. So uh, let's do some defining. Uh, we do that with constant inch. Uh, and that's an uh, abbreviation for constant, and this is integer, and it should turn orange for you. We're going to call this uh, LED1 today because I need you to put in 2. And that equals, and it looks like I hooked this up to pin 11. Okay. You don't need to put in spaces here, but it is nice uh, uh, for clarity. I'm going to hit two backslashes because this is a comment. You guys don't need to put comments in your code yet, but you're going to at some point. wrong one of course. Uh, this uh, defines and uh, names pin. Okay. All right. Well, we did it. We defined. We named. Now it's time to set up. So that's a void setup. That's a that's a big deal. And so it's going to turn orange too. Uh, some special code here. You needed to use two smoothies. Okay. Um, so that's a shift nine, shift zero. All right, now we need to open our brackets, and a lot of coders like to do something like this, where you close your brackets immediately and you work in between them. That, that way you'll, you won't forget to close your brackets in the end. Uh, we're going to use a command called pin mode. We're going to tell what, what we want pin 11 to do. So that is lowercase pin, then uppercase m, and then lowercase ode. Should turn orange. Well, we're talking about LED1. That's what we named it. And we would like it to be an output because it's a digital pin. It can be an input or an output. We're going to have to tell it what we want. Okay, so LED1 is now an output. Uh, I'm sorry, output. It's early. Um, and we're ready to do our loop. Okay, so this is a void loop. Should turn orange. Another uh, smooth open close parentheses. Open your brackets. Close your brackets and work in between them. We're going to do uh, some digital writing. Uh, write uh, means to command the pin to do something. So digital, because we're not talking about the analog rail, we're talking about the digital rail. Digital write, uh, and we would uh, like uh, LED1, well, not exclamation point, sorry, to be high. And that is the word for on in this particular language. We've got to tell it how long to be on, so that's called a delay. And that's how much time it's going to spend on that line when the computer reads the code. This is in milliseconds, so I start off with 1,000 milliseconds, also known as one second. Well, now we're going to have to tell it to turn off because we want to blink. So that's a digital write again. You need to give it a command. This time we're going to tell LED1 to please be low or off for, don't forget your semicolons, not colons, for one second as well. All right, so what I was going to do is I was going to hit the FaceTime here so you guys can see what that looks like when it uploads and uh, all that stuff. So let's see here. Try to get my face out of it. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay. So right now, nothing. So let's upload our code. Trying to get this right. Get you guys seasick at the same time. Let's uh, compile. Okay. See, it's not your guys' is the only that has problems here. No, it's this one right there. Let's try that one. Upload it. Let's see if we get anything here. Problem uploading. Okay. Oh, I remember now. That makes this whole for not. Well, technology is always fun. So. 
I just remembered this particular board is not installed on this laptop. That's a bit of a snag. Okay, snag fit. Thank goodness for the fast forward button on YouTube, huh? Let's see what he thinks now. Oh, FaceTime, I want to. There you go. Check our serial port. Never a boring moment around here. Start uploading again. Okay. Sorry about that. So now um, we see the behavior we were going after. Okay. So I had to put my Arduino board on there. So it's a little different than your guys, but does the same thing. Okay, so what can we do to affect the, the time it takes for this blink? Um, all we have to do is uh, change the, uh, the milliseconds here and re-upload the program, and we will get a completely different behavior. Let's see if we can see that. It's interesting, this camera isn't picking up the actual... Well, let's see about uh, this. Mm -hmm. There we go. So now we can see the good blink. I guess it was... Uh, uh, maybe this camera doesn't collect as many images per second as you need to to get uh, that blink, but now we can see it. That's 55 milliseconds on, 55 milliseconds off. So now it's almost like a strobe light. All right. Uh, so remember, you guys are going to have to figure out how to get another LED on here. Uh, I think that you're going to have to do another constant int. Maybe we'll call it LED2, and you're going to have to put it on a different pin. You will have to set up that pin in your setup the same, and you're going to have to digital write it the same. Uh, except for it can't be LED1, it's going to be LED2. Let me know. Uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much, guys. Good luck.